Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about Thursday flipping. And this week, with the new weekend league rewards in FIFA Ultimate Team, will Thursday flipping be different this week? We'll be able to do it still um, with all of these player pick special items going to be in the game. Obviously now it says player pick special items. It does not say uh, team of the week player pick because these are going to be team of the season players. And with Premier League projected to be this weekend, um, a lot of people are going to be playing the game this weekend, especially since we're going to get a ma our first major league, most likely the Premier League. Now, obviously, we're going to have another league out at the same time. So even if you can only get silver one, two or three, it's worth it to try to get there this weekend. Even if the game is just so bad for you at the moment in time, if gameplay is bad this weekend, if you know you just get upset and frustrated with the game at least try to get you know silver three or silver two that way you can guarantee yourself in team of the season player which obviously it'll be a red pick but you know you know you can get four wins to get silver three i think um maybe six whatever it is six wins to get silver three and that at least guarantees you some sort of uh team of the season player pick um that you could pack something um you know at least in, maybe an 87 rated from but Regardless of that, there's going to be a lot of people playing Weekend League this weekend because of those items that are going to be in rewards. And we need to talk about just how significant that is going to be this weekend. There's already been a lot of people playing Rivals this week um, because of the weekly objective for Tots Rodri, which is score using Spanish players in six separate Rivals wins. Now, some of the motivation might not be there for some of this challenge because... Um, Rodri has been available in packs now, and a lot of people have been compensated with Rodri's uh, because of them, you know, the EA tweet, you know, messing everything up and the compensation with Rodri and Onana and Sissoko. But I still think that a lot of people went for this SBC this week, and people are just playing rivals to get the rewards. So I think there's going to be a lot of uh, packs that are open on Friday. People might save the re rewards for this upcoming team of the season, the, the new release on, on Friday, um, but on Thursday, excuse me, Thursday when the rewards come out, I do think there's going to be a lot of people who do build teams because they're going to get those coins from Rivals and Foot Champions rewards. And they're going to be gearing up for a big weekend on FIFA. Now, I want to talk about the kind of the price range of stuff that I'm going to be looking at again. Um, we're going to talk about the TOTS cards that are brand new, that are still um, new to the game. The team of the season most consistent cards, I think they're going to work their way into a lot of people's squads. Maybe not some of these top tier ones. I'll talk about Zlatan. I think he's kind of a special case. Uh, but if a guy like Toby, if he doesn't get re-released inside of Prem, team of the season, I think some of those TOTS cards could definitely rise out of packs. And then we're obviously going to be looking at meta gold cards and um, past special cards and informs that are very meta that people are going to use um, for their weekly ultimate teams uh, for the weekend. First guy that I want to point out specifically, Paul Pogba. Now we're looking at his gold card here because his gold card has taken a nice hit in price in the last couple of weeks, actually in this past week, with uh, Team of the Season Most Consistent being out, he's down here at 90,000 coins on Xbox, which is about his current price. We just saw over here he's 90,000 coins. But this card has taken a hit in price because of a couple of reasons. The first one is that Musa Sissoko came out and there was all of the, you know, the problems and the controversy around that card being actually released in packs, as well as um, only supposed to be available via SBC. So he's been out as an SBC and he's been in packs and people who packed his gold card when he should have been in packs or whatever, uh, they got his card as well. So a lot of people got that Sissoko card and a lot of people probably sold their Pogbas and sold their Contes this week to go out and use that Sissoko card. You know, they probably got the Sissoko untradeable or maybe even tradable through the SBC, which was fairly cheap. Um, or they packed him and got compensated for it. But that has caused these cards' prices to drop a lot this week, especially Conte. We'll, we'll look at his graph here in a second. He's chilling right around 80K. He was a little bit lower than that earlier in the week. Um, Conte, 80K. And this is why I really like this on Xbox, because those these prices have started to go up already on PS4. PS4, let's take a look at the PS4 graph on the hourly. What was he yesterday on PS4? He's around 100k, but he was lower, 96, and then back in here he was 98k. Again, what you don't see is on Sunday night after squad battle rewards is when these guys really hit their lowest. I 
think he's around 95k on PS, and on Xbox, he was very low as well, down here again, under 80,000 coins. Um, that's why a lot of these cards dipped um, because of that Sissoko, and just the fact that it was a, a big time sell off this week. You see him getting a low of 80,000 coins, which is where he is currently at um, for that. So again, this week is Premier League team of the season, um, most likely, and yes, you know, Thursday flipping is going to be a little bit more risky this week. I haven't talked about this point yet with you guys. Um, the time frame. We've looked at a couple players. We'll look at some more players in depth here in a second. But the time frame of this weekend is kind of interesting as well. You might have heard some people refer to this as like the double dip um, from last week. Uh, where people bought and they sold after rewards on Thursday, which is what I did. And then also people bought Friday morning in the panic before team of the season actually dropped. And they sold again in the, in the evening after the team of the season lightning rounds had started, after that there was some panic and sell-off of cards on the market because of the new team of the season coming out. And then people went back out and bought their weekend league teams. Now people are gearing up to do that same exact process this weekend, which I think is a pretty good way of thinking. But we just have to be really careful on Thursday to monitor how much the market goes up. Last Thursday, the market went up until about 6 p.m. on Thursday, and then it started just to kind of fizzle out, and there wasn't as much buying power. I would think that it would stay a little bit more consistent this week with the added hype with the Team of the Season cards going to be in Week and League Rewards. But I still want you guys to be careful because... Um, it was uh, Allen's getting bought there at 3.30. But I want you guys to be careful because... Uh, there's still a lot of people that are very cautious and that are thinking that this weekend is their weekend to build a team, which they would be very correct with that. Once that Premier League t team of the season drops, and maybe even before that, you're going to see a lot of panic selling of cards on the market, including some of these uh, Tots most consistent cards, but especially you know some team of the years, some icons, and some cards that people want to have in their end game teams. Um, they're going to get panic sold because people are going to be thinking about what awesome cards could come out during Premier League team of the season. So the time, the timing for the Thursday flips is if you're buying Wednesday night. So if you're buying tonight, um, or if you've already bought some things, get your first flips out early, get them out before 6 PM on Thursday, just in case they drop another loading screen or for some reason, uh, tweet out like the link for Premier League tots, or even if it gets leaked. If you start seeing leaks early in the morning on Friday um, or even on Thursday, if those get out somehow, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have your coins ready and ready to go for watching the panic on Friday and be done with your Thursday flip. So this Thursday, again, is kind of another one of those weeks where you're just going to want to kind of have a quick, a quick in and out in terms of uh, weekend league rewards and the stuff like that. Um, this Lucas card actually just went out of packs as I'm recording this video. Went from about 70k to about 80k in a snap. I have a few of those on my transfer list, um, as long as well as a couple Pogba's that I was looking at as well. Um, but again, the quick flips, you're going to want to just focus on meta cards. Um, your best bet is honestly just to focus on gold cards because if the people that are going to be building teams after the Thursday rewards are probably not going to be building huge, huge mega teams. They know that, yes, this weekend is coming. The prices aren't that low yet. Some people bought their teams last weekend, and they're still holding on to them. And those people will probably end up panic selling on Friday when they see the Premier League tots and just how good it could be. But um, you're still there's still a window, basically. Is what I'm trying to get out here is there is such a good opportunity and a window to flip cards um, on Thursday, even with the market being very, very low. As you see Mbappe, 2.6, 2.7, I think you can go lower than that. Even some of these other Team of the Year cards, even if you're not focused on Team of the Years, if you're just somebody who wants to get gold Pogba into your team, um, you're going to want to buy him probably in the middle of this week because Pogba is somebody who's in contention for Premier League Team of the Season. Same with Aguero, same with Aubameyang. If you want any of those guys in your team, those would be probably good guys to look at this week for weekend league flipping rewards. And you can honestly take a chance with those. Somebody like Paul Pogba, if he gets into Premier League Team of the Season, he's going to be out of packs for an entire week with a lot of people probably wanting his gold card and some of his other cards to get in their clubs. Um, in their squads that they're going to want to build around these Premier League players that will come out. So 
you're going to want to watch Pogba's gold card. Aubameyang is another one. He's a very possible candidate for team of the year. And the most interesting thing about his gold card is, as we mess up the search filter, this 87 rated card right here is actually out of packs. And it's been out of packs for a while because that card is the... Um, not the winter upgrade version. He got the winter upgrade version, which is an 88 rated card. That's the one in packs. But obviously, gets if he gets a tots, both of those cards will be out of packs. Same thing with Aguero. He is probably looking to get a team of the season card. Um, his card does look very good. Um, he's had a great year. Sharing the golden boot, I do believe, with um, Aubameyang and Salah. So this card's going to be going out of packs. The very popular striker in the Premier League. They just won the Premier League season. There's a lot of hype around City players um, because of that. So you could see this card rise because it goes out of pack as well. And that would be a interesting scenario that you could still sell on Thursday, but you might want to end up trying to hold out on that card just because you might be able to pick up some extra coins in a sale um, later in the week if you held until after Thursday until they go out of packs. And then you're going to end up holding that card probably for a week as people continue to build teams of that card and it gets more rare and cards that are out of packs obviously just continue to rise in price as people use them back over to footbin you know what we like to look at here and that is all types of the um special teams other team of the weeks and squads on the game these are going to be great looks this week um especially some of your meta players Players that literally go up every week and don't have a team of the season card that is going to compete with them for their price. Alexandro, I don't like that card because the rave and the rage is all about Alex Tellez right now. You don't want to mess with this card right now. He's overshadowed. Now, a guy like Marquinhos at 82k, that interests me. This card usually rises up on the weekends. He's down to 82k right now, which is very, very cheap. Um, on the Xbox, he's been about 90k. And of course, that's a link to Lala, to a very popular uh, right back in the game. Lala himself, now upgraded to an 88 rated card, is chilling at 190K. Um, that's decently low as well. You probably will see him have a rise for weekend league just because he's a very, very meta player. But again, you're gonna wanna focus on, you know, probably again, we usually like to put a price range on this stuff. I'm thinking you're gonna wanna focus in the range of um, zero, to 350 to 400k there might be some things that go up that are higher rated that have special links to maybe like a Millie Tao. he's been kind of all monitoring his price a little bit this week um but this week is you know it's kind of hard to say what budget's going to go up the most but if you cover all your bases get some cards get some of these cards as well like a Foden every single week last week i bought Foden's at like 130 where he's at right now on Wednesday night, there's some panic, and I sold him for like 157 on Thursday morning. And you see here on the graph, his price never, ever hit 157 at any point on the graph. But that's why graphs don't always tell you the whole story. He got rare on the night of rewards. It's a very popular card, English, Premier League, City. That's a card you could look to flip this weekend as well. It looks to be down right now, pretty much, 130K. So again, look through your past team of the weeks tonight before you head off to bed. It's a great time to do that as people sell before rewards. And we can do the usual Thursday flipping. But again, you're probably going to want to get these out quickly. I don't see a huge market rise happening, but I do see a market rise happening in terms of meta golds, Aguero, Pogba, Kante, Mbappe. You know, the guys that everybody wants to play with each week, just because they're going to be building some teams, whether cheap or expensive, because they're going to be going after those weekend league rewards, getting those team of the season player picks. That's the sole motivation this weekend. And that's also going to be a big time buy time um, on Friday when we see the panic for tots and all that going on. I'll talk a little bit about that later this week, what cards we want to focus on and kind of monitor the trends as we actually head into the next realm of team of the season cards with the Premier League. Real quick here at the end, I want to touch on these cards again. These TOTS cards, if you want to flip these on Thursday, be really careful with them. When they got a lot of supply Sunday night, their their prices went down. These cards fluctuate a lot, especially the ones like Allen, Bertongen, Ter Stegen, Sule, guys that people like to play with a lot, even Ibra. Today when the SBC, the guaranteed SBC came out, he was 1.2 million coins, and now he's insta-selling at 1.3, and his cheapest is about 1.35. So... 
that is an area to look at. If you're looking at these cards, I would stay away from Premier League cards because we're expecting Premier League tots this weekend, even though they would seem like some of them the most logical ones to invest in. I wouldn't want to touch these until we get some sort of confirmation that these cards are not included in packs for this weekend's Premier League team of the season because if they are, they're going to go even lower than they already are right now. So some safe looks in my opinion. And Dom Bailey is pretty safe. Allen's pretty safe and hyped up. Uh, Ter Stegen is pretty safe. Sule is decently safe. I think he'll rise up in the hype. Um, maybe even a guy like Bergwin, um, a Rusillian as well, Tagliafico, and Emery Chan. You know, the, the most hype and the most popular players that are not in the Premier League, that's where I would look this weekend. Tellez as well. I think a lot of people are looking to try that card out with an Allen link. And then obviously maybe link a, a flashback dab of the Wies in there or, or Militao to the Tellez card to get some links going. But I would be careful with those Team of the Season cards. Just focus on the Meta Golds. Keep it safe this week. Focus on Meta Golds, past Team of the Week informs that rise every week, and just look at their graphs. Because you can look at their graphs and tell and decipher every week, does this card rise weekly? And you can easily make that decision looking at past graphs and everything like that. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or specific investment questions for Thursday Flipping this week. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.